All right, uh, everyone, let, let's begin as we should. Let's close our eyes for a moment. Om Guru Devaya Vidmahe Param Brahmanya Dimahi Tanno Guru Pachodayat Om Guru Devaya Vidmahe Param Brahmanya Dimahi Tanno Guru Pachodayat Om Guru Devaya Vidmahe Param Brahmanya Dimahi Tanno Guru Pachodayat the Guru, personification of formless God, we remember him. May he inspire us, guide us, and protect us. Jai Guru. Jai Guru. Welcome, everyone. Coming from so many different places, we have people in the U.S. from all, all the different regions. I'm speaking down here from South America. It's, it's, it's amazing what technology does today. But we all have one heart. And all our hearts right now are focused on our beloved Gurudev. So, for you listeners, we have a special treat today. We have a few Yogacharyas with some personal stories with, uh, with Gurudev. And we'll be, we'll be uh, receiving Durga Map sometime soon as well. And if, the, if we have any time at the end, maybe a short little general meditation for everyone who's there. So, without any further ado, the lady with the California light and blazing, blazing through her, Lucy Ma, can you please tell, tell us your story? Yeah, thank you, John Baba. I'm, I'm so happy to be here with you all today. It's such a big and important day and time for me. Um, in planning what I wanted to talk about, I've got a few things, but as we are on the day right now, I really am remembering that day in in history. And I, I had the, and so this is unscripted, but I had the great good fortune to be at the ashram um, the day before I, I arrived on the second and I um, was able to stay for a week and it was I don't, I won't even go into the story, but it was a magical story that just happened, so to speak, that I was I was there at the time. So I'll tell a little bit about that for those who do not know um, about that day uh, that Baba left. I arrived on um, the, the evening, uh, <clears throat> I don't even know what day of the week, the evening of the 2nd. And there was a, a lot of um, sort of confusion at, at the ashram or concern because they had just taken Gurudev to the hospital. And so people were sort of on pins and needles of what's happening next. By the next morning, um, it was clear that he, he was um, going to leave his body. So we prepared by... Um, to telephoning local students and inviting them if they wanted to go to the hospital, which many did. Um, and you can imagine the, the feelings of many of the residents. At that time, there were not so many residents. Mark Baba was there and very, like he was doing administration, the administrative role. He had to just check out. He was not able to um, follow through on that role, so we kind of slipped in and 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 helped out. Every everybody was there, helped out, and kind of miraculously, the right people were there for the right jobs. It, it's it was it really felt like um, pre pre orchestrated and pre ordained that it it was um, all ready to ready to go. So at one point. It was my turn to go to the hospital. And um, so we drove over there. It's about a 20 minute, 30 minute drive to, to this beautiful hospital facility. And um, monks were saying the Gita around Baba and he was um, lay, lying in his hospital bed. And um, Guruji met me at the door and said, go in, look and go, you know, Go in, look, and go. So, okay. 
So I stood at the back of the room and um, it was, I, I just took it in. My, my whole thing is that I'm a rather shy person and I watch and I observe and I learn by watching. So I was watching and something happened. I always saw Gurudev in form. I'm, I'm a, um, an accountant, very pragmatic. And I see things really from the, that side of the brain that's very pragmatic. So I've always seen, seen Gurudev as in the form, beautiful form, but I was often in form. But in, in this instance, I, I saw him in the formless. And um, it was an amazing shift to, to see his, the magnitude of his being and what he was offering us and to understand somehow what, what the formless was and how others had known him. Um, it was just, it was a very big moment for me. Then it was time to go. Got to get back to work, right? That's Kriya Yoga. You get the message and you, you sit on your cushion, you get the message, you con connect with the divine. And then you take, you get back to your action. <clears throat> so I um, went back to the ashram and throughout the day, this was probably nine or 10 in the morning at that time. And then by about six o'clock in the afternoon, we got the message that he had taken his last breath. <clears throat> so people were um, <laughs> upset and still at the hospital and there was a, a lot of fluidity, let's just say. And as the days went on, stories came in from, from students around the country, how he had appeared to them. One friend was driving in her car and she saw him just it, very clearly in, in picture of him at that time of his passing. And so there were several stories like that. So Baba, the, this, the, and then there's many more things we could tell about that day, but it was, it was a really phenomenal experience to have been there with him at that, at that parting. So I really feel amazed by that. But what it really showed me is that he is not just in body form. We have the, had the great good fortune to know him in body form, but he is so much greater than that and so much bigger than just body form that for all students, whether you knew him or not in body form, please get to know him, read, read his texts, read the stories, listen to, 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 to him. There's, YouTube out there, there's so many clips of him and you see his beauty that I, I really, really recommend um, that. So time is going on and I have one piece that I do want to talk about. So we often hear that Baba said, love, 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 love. And I've had done a talk on it. I quote it often. And uh, it wasn't long ago that I kind of saw that in a new vein. I had a little epiphany about love, love, love. I mean, how complex could it be, right? But, but I can still hear Baba say it. I hear his voice. I see his his lips moving, you know, when he says it. It's, it's so mm -hmm. alive for me. But what I saw in a new light was, is he directing us to love, love, love? Or is he giving us his love, love, love? You know, he, how do we know? And, and it's maybe always different or it's, it's a, the sense of um, both. Maybe if, if, if we give out our love, 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 then 
to him, to our breath, to our anything. <laughs> I'll bring back to refer to my notes, but um, he he has a song. If you remember his song, "Oh my Lord, I run to you." Oh my Lord, that song. He, he's asking us to give in that kind of of um, love. And he doesn't just say, you, you should love your breath or love. He said, love, love, love. I mean, it's it's reiterated that this is the kind of love that we are to, to be giving and to be thinking about. Now, when we look at the side from, is he giving us his love in love, 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 when he says it so beautifully and you can see his lips. We should receive it. He's not just giving one love. Oh, I love you. He's love, love, love. So giving, 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 always at that level. Um, so waste not a moment and love with that kind of veracity. He wants us to, the simpleness of Kriya Yoga, his whole teaching is to love every breath, right? So if we love receive, that's God breathing. If we love give our attention to the breath. So waste not a moment. Run to the guru. Be with the guru. Hold fast to his hand because he is there with you in the formless. Please study deeply. Study, learn, be with Guru Dev. <laughs> There's nothing, no greater treasure that you can have and then the love of the guru. So with that, I will yield my time to the next speaker. <laughs> Jai Guru, Mama, Jai Guru. It's hard to stop talking about it. I know, I know. But we have our friend, Srinidhi Baba. We'll ask, we'll ask him to, to give, to give a, a, your talk, Baba. As we Thank know you, you have part of a program to do. So go. Jai Guru. Thank you, Baba. Guru Maha, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat Param Brahma, Tasmai Shri Guru Venamaha. I bow down to the Supreme Almighty God. I bow to saints and sages of all times, of all places. I bow to this beautiful lineage of Kriyaga masters, in particular to my beloved Gurudev, so loving, so compassionate, so divine, so kind, so much, so kind, and so merciful, and to Guruji, and to the divinity in all you all. Om Amen. <clears throat> So I want to relate you to the you know, the time when um, Gurudev left his body as well, to start with. Um, Guruji had sent a letter before, and I was to go to a, a, a business trip to Columbus, Ohio, uh, from Denver. So uh, there was a letter from Guruji's stating that, you know, Gurudev is not in a great condition and uh, he's in the hospital and that uh, he said he has never seen him in this condition. So, so I was thinking, you know, well, Gurudev will live for 100 years. By At that time, he was 95. So we said, well, he'll live for 100 years. So I had, I was like, it's all play, play of Gurudev. It's just, he will come back, you know, he'll be fine. Is That's my thought, right, at the time. But anyway, I left for the airport and, you know, I was in the plane and we are flying, you know, 35,000 feet or whatever um, over the clouds. It was a pretty clear sky. And, um, you know, I noted, uh, you know, it was in the Eastern time by then, 7:28 p.m. I saw this. I was I sit by the by the window of the uh, you know uh, of the aisle. So outside, suddenly I saw a flash of light, and I was like, "What's that?" It seemed like Gurudev. I was like, 
Is it Gurudev? Did Gurudev leave our leave leave the body? So I was really kind of kind of shocked, I should say, and 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 I said, well, um, I wanted to check myself to see. I asked the guy next to me and said, did you see a flash of light? And he was probably not looking or whatever. He didn't say anything. He said, no, I didn't. So then I said, I noted the time and then I said, I don't know. Then I started praying. I said, I didn't pray for Gurudev's health until, you know, because I assumed that he'll be living till 100 years. And so he didn't, he didn't need a prayer. So, so anyway, uh, that was my thought. So I went to the, my hotel. And then I called uh, called home. Pratima, uh, my wife, told me that uh, she got the message that uh, Gurudev left his body. And it was the same time that uh, I noted down. I was like, oh, my God, how could I, you know, not pray for him? You know, so anyway, I prayed afterwards, you know, to Gurudev. But like Lucy Ma was mentioning, you know, Gurudev, doesn't need a body. He, he is present all the time, everywhere. So there's nothing, there's no need for him to be in a body. In fact, he mentioned uh, that he will be able to help more people, you know, when he has left the body. So, so from that perspective, um, let me give you a little story on that. So back in 2000, um, you know, I, my parents, um, came to, and I took them to Miami. You know, they were visiting me. So I took them to Miami to see Gurudev. And um, and um, uh, we saw Gurudev, but my father wasn't doing well. So he basically, <clears throat> at one time, he kind of fell on the uh, grounds um, and, you know, lost his consciousness for a little bit. And I was in a meditation room. Somebody called me. so. They took me to the <clears throat> Baba's room because he had been taken to the Baba's room to, uh, you know, to get well. Now, Gurudev was, uh, you know, when I went into the Gurudev's room, he was lying there um, um, with a pillow to his head. And then um, I noticed uh, that Gurudev was asking someone to take the pulse. And so they were checking the pulse and pulse rate and all that. And... Um, then Gurudev uh, said, give that medication, you know, certain medication. So I was kind of not sure if that, what the medication that Gurudev was going to give, right? So I said, Baba, he's a heart patient. So I wanted to let Gurudev know. Gurudev completely ignored me. <laughs> he didn't seem to even <laughs> hear me. So, so I thought Gurudev didn't hear me. So I said, I said again, Baba, he's a heart patient. Then he said, Again, Gurudev completely ignored me. Then I said, well, Gurudev knows everything. What should I tell him? <laughs> so then he gave the medication to him. And then he said, wait 10 minutes and check his pulse. And then after that, his pulse was fine. Gurudev said, he can go. But as he was leaving, uh, Gurudev said, Gurudev looked at him and said, what to do, destiny? I was like, kind of worried when he said that. So in my, you know, silently, I, I had a prayer for Gurudev, please take care of him. Because he was also initiated, by the way, into Kriya, you know, by then, you know, a while ago. Anyway, so after that, um, fast forward to 2002, this is after Gurudev leaving the body. Gurudev left on December 3rd. And um, um, my father went into, uh, he had many uh, strokes every six months. And on that December 22nd, 2002, he, had a, he went into a coma state. So, <clears throat> so I rushed um, over. And as you know, it takes uh, <clears throat> some time to travel to India. So I was there 24th morning. And um, at that time, um, uh, so I met my my other brothers. Three, I have three brothers, and so we went to the uh, his cardiologist. The cardiologist said, 
um, you know, he is um, he is only 10% chance he'll come out of coma. And even if he comes out of coma, he's, there's only 10% chance he'll be not a vegetable. I was like, oh my goodness, so that's one in 100 chance that he'll not be vegetable and, and come out of coma and not a vegetable. So I was like, so we were worried. And the doctor said, well, he doesn't have a living will, so you have to decide whether we have to unplug all the instruments, all the things so that he can, you know, pass on, pass on, um, you know, to his next, uh, next life. So, but, you know, I basically opposed it. I said, no, 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 we, we need to, we need to wait. We need to pray. Let's pray. So we all prayed, all of us, all of us brothers prayed. And then that night, um, you know, I had a, I did a long meditation and then slept. So, um, so he was in the ICU in the morning, early morning. Uh, by the way, it was Christmas Eve too. So I prayed for Jesus as well and prayed to Gurudev to, you know, to help him. And um, in early morning, I had tremendous vibrations all over my body. I felt something is going on. So I decided um, that I, you know, something, you know, I didn't know what was going on, obviously. So, so me and my brother went to uh, the ICU. The earliest we could go was 6 a.m. So we went there at 6 a.m. And um, <clears throat> lo and behold, the the uh, the lady said, "Oh, your father is uh, out of coma, and he is. Uh, we have uh, you know unplugged everything. He just has a little bit of oxygen going on. That's all." He's fine, so we can go see him. So I went to see him, but I still wanted to make sure he's not a vegetable, right? So, so I went to see him, and uh, I said, "How are you?" Uh, he looked at me and said, "said something," and I couldn't understand. So I said, uh, "I put my uh, ears to his mouth and said, say again." And he, he, he had all these tubes in the, you know, in his mouth before. So he, whatever he said. It was very gargled, so I couldn't hear. So I said, I don't understand what you're saying. And he, he, he smiled. I said, there you go. He's not a vegetable. He's responding back. And then anyway, it was all fine. And afterwards, they shifted him to a, a regular ward. And at that point, um, you know, um, they asked that um, um, you know, his doctor came and he said, how are you doing? He said, I'm doing fine, doctor. He answered, I was like, there you go. <laughs> the miracle has happened. So, yeah. so just to show you that Gurudev helps even after, you know, uh, you know, he's leaving the body. There's nothing stopping him. There's nothing stopping him. So I think I, I'm out of my time. So I'll stop here. But um, one quick thing I wanted to tell you, you know, this story, um, um, you know, there was, there's a, a, a Sanskrit verse which says, Dhyana Molam Guru Murti, it starts in that manner. And I could understand all the other three parts of the verse, but Dhyana Molam Guru Murti, I did not understand. And I thought that means, you know, the root of meditation is the form of the Guru. I, just, I didn't understand what that means. So I was in Denver when I, was contemplating that. And I said, when I go to Gurudev, I'll ask him. So I mentally noted down, but forgot all about it when I went to Gurudev a few months later. Imagine my surprise when I walked into the Gurudev's room and he looked at me and said, Jnana Molam Guru Murti, he means <laughs> when you see the Guru, that's meditation. I said, <laughs> Baba, thank you. <laughs> I didn't, I had completely forgotten, you know, and here he is answering my question. Yes, Baba. That, is, Baba. that is the greatness of Guru. You know, that's how Guru is. So, so wonderful. So, I'm happy to be with all my wonderful colleagues here, my beautiful teachers here, and um, happy to share a little bit of these stories. There's so many more to talk about, but you know, let me give chance to others. Thank you so much. Jay, Jay. Thank, thank you so much. Beautiful, beautiful stories. Beautiful stories. 
So did Durgama come? Is she there, Phil Baba? No, she's not here yet. She should be here in a few minutes, though. Okay. Well, okay. we know what we're doing. David Baba, <laughs> you're a batter up. Thank you, Baba. <laughs> Jai Guru. I humbly bow to my Gurudev. I humbly bow to my Guruji. I humbly bow to our line of Kriya Yoga Masters. I humbly bow to saints and sages of all religions. I humbly bow to the people of the entire creation. And I humbly bow to God. Om. Amen. So it's so nice hearing Trinity Baba and Lucy Ma speak about our Gurudev, Hari Harnandaji. Hearing the, the stories of the special things that happened the day he left his body. Hearing about his uh, love and compassion for individuals as well as for the entire world. I have a couple of very short uh, experiences that I had with him to demonstrate one of Gurudev's qualities that I always thought was so interesting, so endearing, so amazing considering who he was and what he had uh, achieved in his life. Like Lucy Ma said, you know, I learned the same way by just watching Gurudev and observing him, listening to him. So one of the instances where I was watching and listening and had some immediate reactions, but later on, you know, grew in greater understanding of, of why he said this, we were um, to do a, a program in Tampa. And so a group of us uh, were going to travel from the ashram in uh, Miami, Homestead Ashram. Uh, over to Tampa, Florida, and Gurudev was to give a talk in the auditorium of a large university there. So <clears throat> we arrived the night before at a disciple's home who lived in the area. We stayed overnight there, the whole kind of troop of us that were uh, traveling with Gurudev. And the next day, um, just after lunch, we were sitting with Gurudev and he asked, so what time are we to leave tonight to go to the lecture hall? And someone said, I assume it was the host, I don't exactly remember, but someone, someone said, well, this university is about 15 minutes away. The lecture's at seven o'clock. So, you know, we, depending on traffic, yeah, about 15 minutes shouldn't be a problem. So we'll leave it about 6.45. And Gurudev stopped and he put his finger up and he said, no, we will leave at 6.30 because we are yogis and we must not be late. And, you know, my initial reaction is I was sitting there, I'm looking at him and I'm thinking to myself, you're the star of the show. <laughs> and nothing is going to happen until you arrive everybody's going to be more than happy to wait for you if it's five or ten minutes late because of traffic no problem but then it occurred to me you know he, he's he's very courteous he's very compassionate towards other people and their time and to not be rude and to not keep people keep people waiting so i said you know that's that's a really really nice quality but that wasn't the quality that ultimately came through to me about him. So let me tell you the next story, and then I'll tell you what, what it is that I realized about him. As most of you know, when we have a birthday celebration for Gurudev at the ashram, um, you know, it's filled with a lot of wonderful ceremony and, and uh, uh, wonderful love and respect 
shown to the guru. One of the things that is done is the disciples make absolutely spectacular flower garlands. And during the birthday celebration, the flower garlands are put on Gurudev's neck. Um, there have been even a couple of times where there's been a turban brought out, put on him like, like, like a king. Uh, flower petals will be put at his feet. And of course, in the, you know, the Indian tradition, in the, in the guru tradition, you know, we'll go up one by one, bow at his feet like that. And Baba would always very, very nicely, sweetly, patiently endure all this attention for our benefit. But I can remember at the end of that one time, on one of these celebrations, he stopped and there was a huge crowd of people and he 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 looked at us and very nicely said it wasn't scolding it was very kind and sweet he said i don't want you to worship hari harananda i want you to be hari harananda you know and so these two incidents and many other incidents through the years with him, I came to realize that one of his most foundational characteristics was how humble he was, just so humble. And it took me a while to figure that out because I thought here's someone who in our estimation has probably achieved the greatest thing a human being can achieve. He has become enlightened, he has become God realized. Yet he he he's he has such humility that is just unbroken. It's just always there. It is it is an uh, an essential part of of his being. It's really astonishing. And the best explanation for why that is so is in one of the teachings that I can remember him giving us going way, way back, back to the very beginning when I was in Kriya, I can remember him saying this to us. It's a little part of a verse from the Upanishads and the Sanskrit is, he would look at us and say, Eko Deva Sarva Bhuteshu Guraha. And then he would translate it to us. This is a loose translation. I know it's not the exact words, but he translated in this way to us so that we could understand the meaning, he would tell us one God, the same God, is hiding in every human being. That explains everything. It explains why he was so humble. It explains the essence of spirituality. It is the foundation of Advaita Vedanta. If you ever learn about, you know, that system of non-duality. I believe it's the foundation of our spirituality that we're all pursuing. And Hari Harananda had awakened to firsthand awareness that that one God, that same God, was abiding within him and within everyone else, that that one, the one consciousness was manifesting as him and manifesting as everyone else and all that it is. And he lived in conscious awareness of that fact. So how could he ever think he was better than anyone else? Because from his vantage point, there was no one else. It was all oneness. It's all one. There's no one to be better than. And for me, to have some intellectual understanding of that concept and that idea um, that was brought to me because of the teachings of our Gurudev, um, I mean, it's just, it just means everything and it informs every way that I look at religion and spirituality. I'm sad that at this point, I still have not awakened 
to the awareness of that and had the same realization that that Gurudev had and that he lived in. But because of him, I'm convinced that that's the underlying reality. That's that is the essence, the nature of God, of creation, of spirituality. And I know that it's there. How to finally get it to happen for me? It's a work in progress. <laughs> but he was very special. And those two small times with him really just showed me so much about who he was and about spiritual life and that one teaching, so invaluable. But as all the teachers who are sitting here could say, we could probably come up with, between all of us in about five minutes, we could come up with a hundred small teachings of Gurudev that basically said it all to us because that's how he was and that's how he taught and that's how he brought spiritual life to us. So, um, you know, I'm grateful, so grateful for having known him and the, the journey continues and I feel like we all are together on that same journey and I'm grateful for all of you. And so thank you very much. Uh, May God and Guru Dev bless us all. Om. Amen. Jai Guru Baba. Jai Guru Baba. We are truly works in progress. <laughs> truly works in progress. Sometimes, sometimes it's it's astounding to think that we were with him, that we had moments with him. It it hits me, and I say, how me? How? <laughs> and 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 as time goes on, more and more, I thought, oh my God. <laughs> and we are works in progress that's for sure how much i realize i don't know you know this becomes very evident <laughs> the more yeah. we learn the more we know we don't know <laughs> i know i know phil baba did durga ma come no i still have i'm still watching for her but um she was supposed to come at 11 30 and still not shown up yet so they must be the puja must be going on. Oh, okay. Well, then, then let's then let's do this. I'll tell I'll tell uh, a little stories in moments, and then if she doesn't come back, I think I'll pass the ball back to Lucy Ma at the beginning. Maybe do a small little meditation for us, Lucy Ma. Is that possible? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Good. Anu Karana. Anu Sarana, Anu Smarada. To follow, to imitate, and to remember his teachings. Jai Guru, Jai Guru. The other day, Guruji said this. I thought, oh, in a nutshell, to follow him as best we could, to imitate him <laughs> as faulty as we are. We try, we try. And, and to remember his teachings. Uh, as best as we can, and try to share uh, as much as possible. I I thought of something, and 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 listening to David, it it brought it it brought it back to me. His his saying, you know, God is in you. And I remember the line that he said. He said, "When I see you, I see two things at a time." I see your name and form, and I see who you really are. <laughs> oh boy! Because when we when we came to Guru, we thought we had an idea of who we are, you know, this name and form, and where we're from, and I'm a boy, I'm a girl, I'm a this and that, and and Guru Guru Dev knew who who he knew our he knew who we were, he knew who we were at that moment in the past in the present, and he knew. What well, we had the possibility to be in the future, and he was still so kind and patient and loving with us. But I had I had a recollection of a moment I'll never forget this. This was in in the Chuck Lavatan Gallery, the famous gallery in New York in the eighties, and always whenever we finished a meditation, 
we would stand up and we would go and we would bow to Guru Dev's feet. Okay. And then I'll never forget the one day we all stood up. He said, sit down. And everybody sat down. Touch your own feet. He said, this is the feet of God. This is the feet of Guru. You are to perceive that. And that's when, when we do our practice, this is when we, we do this until today. At the end of our practice, we touch our own feet. Where is God? He is inside. He is deeper than deep. He never was far. You were far. <laughs> he was always there. Touch your own feet and find him within. So this is thinking what David Baba said. And yeah. Yeah. And remember the other phrase from Alexander Pope that Guru Dev always said? Know thyself, presume not God to scan. The proper study of mankind is man. So this is the proper study, he would say. So you go inside. You go inside. The purpose of all of these teachings is really that. Gurudev, Gurudev is pushing us inside the whole time. Pushing us inside. You are not you. You are the real you. Inside. And you have to perceive that. So... Thinking and th listening to, to Shinidi Baba, I remember that moment when Charlotte Ma in Miami, she asked Guru Dev because he'd been going back and forth to the doctor. And she said, she said, Guru Dev, what is our relationship with you when you leave your body? And he said, the same. Only with this, I can help you more. He, hit, he touched his leg. Without this, I can help you more. And this is what he's doing. So I think about that. And said, his, his purpose is to help. His purpose is to help us. He took us on. And this is his mission, his responsibility in his mind. He'll do anything to help each one of us. And then at that point, he was, he was honest, saying that the, the body was a hindrance. And the other thing, Shinidi Baba, I remember too, I was also deceived. Baba would say, you should live a hundred years. You should live a hundred years. So I thought, ah, 95, he'll work it out. He'll make it because he's going to live a hundred years. I was just like you. <laughs> we, were, we were completely flummoxed when it happened. And, and I'll just tell you, I was living in Miami at the time. Uh, at that time, Marilena, my wife, she went to Brazil to sell our home because we had, we had moved to uh, Miami a year before renting a place but we decided no let's buy a home in Miami but we needed to sell the one in, in uh, Brasilia so she went and she was doing that alone and then she contacted me she said I have to come back to Miami I said did you get everything finished she said no I have tons of things to do and I foolishly said no stay get everything done how you had she said no I feel I have to come and again I would say yeah but you she said no I feel I have to come and she didn't say why. He didn't, I didn't even think she knew. She knew that she had to come. So that morning, I picked her up at the airport, took her home, left her home. And then I went off to work, to the university to teach, taught one class, getting ready for another class, did it. And then I had more classes that day. She, con she called me. She said, no, they're calling us to go to the Ashram Baptist Hospital to come now i said jesus i have other classes what i she said talk with your boss and and i did i said i can't we have a family emergency with them i went by i picked her up we went to baptist hospital and we were we were in the in the corridor a few of us there in the corridor and inside you had the monks with guru Dev. and i remember when there's a moment when swami vidadi shananda came outside he said to us in the court, he said, now you can come. Baba's calling. So we made a line, single file. We went, we went in. And each one of us bowed to Baba. He just looked, bowed to I, I, I it was it was a lot. <laughs> just to look at Baba. Just to bow. And then we had to we had to get out. 
and then in in the corridor just praying and thing until until baba baba lift left his body and as and as i said to you you all know since 2002 until now how he has helped us how he's been a present a presence in our life not just daily at every moment people ask me they say oh how you knew people. How many times do you practice Kriya Day? I said, it's not a question of that. It's not a question of that. It's not how many times, how many Mahabudras or anything like that. When you when you begin, you you see the practice in that way. Surely we practice every day, but it's it's that it's this constant feeling of of Baba and remembrance and things like that. It's just it, in all of you, it's the same. After so many years, and He has helped us all in in ways that we know and ways that we don't know. How he's helped us and helped our family and just carried us through, and he will help us still. So, so this day is 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 truly a special day, bringing up all all these all these these thoughts, these memories. But he just is. He's this this living presence. He is. Period. He not what he he is, and he's in all of us. And may may God give us the 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 grace to help divulge this, help spread this to the best of our abilities, knowing that he's really doing it through us. And yeah, I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why we were chosen for this. I don't know what, what, what value he saw, in me at least, what value he saw. But the more time goes by, the more I realize that we, we were just with this spiritual giant and he was kind enough to just help each one. He was kind enough and patient enough. And he's doing it still. So, so that's so that's all. I, I think uh, Jai Guru, I'm, I am also so happy to see all of you. Happy to see you all. Don't forget to come to Brazil sometime. Don't forget us all the way down here. Uh, uh, Phil Baba Durga Ma, has she come? She, yes, she's on right now. Okay, okay. So Durga Ma, we've been using up some time, and and we would love to hear love to hear a, a story or so from you, if you could be so kind. Jai Guru Mama. I I have to take leave at this point. So bye -bye. Uh, I'll see you all. Jai Thank Guru. you, Baba. Yes, Good everyone. to see you again. Jai Guru. Jai Guru. Thank you, Srinidhi Baba. Durga Ma, can we see you? Yes, Baba, I can see you. Aha, good. Happy to see you, Baba. Happy to see you. Happy to see you. We miss you. During <laughs> Come down. Listen. Come visit us down here. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Mama, if you'd be so kind, we have all these people listening. And they want to hear, we've been saying stories of Gurudev, our different experiences with him. And it's hard to do. <laughs> we could go on forever. And I'm happy that you made it here. So could you please, could you please share with us something? Yes, Baba. I bow to you all. I bow to Gurudev. I bow to the masters. I bow to Guruji. I bow to you all. To think back, it is a painful day for all the Kriyavats. The day of Gurudev's Mahasamadhi left his body. I was there in Miami in the beginning of November. Usual visits to Gurudev. Twice a year I was going. That year I went in November. October end and November beginning, and I came back to Chicago. At that time, Gurudev was not that well, but we never, I never expect that he will leave the body that soon. We are wanted to leave him, I wanted to leave him 100 years. It was <laughs> close to me. <laughs> Many people are living 100 years. Why not Gurudev? Gurudev is realized. And he, we need him, and so I was expecting him to live for 100 years. I hope 
on the 95th birthday in May 2002, Gurudev mentioned that seeing one spot in Miami Meditation Hall where Gurudev's statue is now, that area he was pointing out with his finger, next year I will be there sitting, watching all the celebration. At the time when I heard that, my heart, you know, jerked me why he said that. But immediately it went out of my mind. Again, I am in my more imaginations that Gurudev will live in 100 years. He has to live 100 years. I forgot about that, what he mentioned. He already mentioned that he is going to leave the body but we don't want to accept it. We didn't want to. So that again, I went back to Miami in his last two days. There, it is a very painful. In the last, until last minute, last day, he was, he was guiding, he was teaching those who are around him. In the last few months also, he was calling people to his room, initiating, guiding them. His whole life is for people to create teaching. If I, it is a very painful to see him like that, to lose him physical, his physical presence lose his physical, physical presence. Though Guru is ever existing, he is there, he is guiding us, he is protecting us, but still, easy access of his physical presence, we miss his, we miss. It is a great loss. But his teaching, he is guiding us, he is protecting us, subtle way. Guru is not for just for time passing to go. Guru is not that we should just go once in a while and see him and whatever teachers we hear and we, how much we grasp, how much we remember his teachings and how much we follow, we don't know. It is a challenge for every seeker. Guru is eternal. For finite minds, it is difficult to understand Guru, what he is. Without our knowledge, we serve Guru. We do many mistakes towards Guru, but he doesn't think of any of those what we are doing, what we are giving, how we are treating him, how many mistakes we do. Like a mother, he always forgets everything, only he wants to give something back to us. It is unlimited, countless, unconditional. Even mother may expect something from children, but guru doesn't expect anything from us. When we are spiritually progressing, he enjoys that, he feels happy. I see that in Guru. Whatever he teaches me, it is there in me and he is in me, I think. For the disciples, Guru is in, in their minds, Guru is always in their minds. Uh, it is not that we do only once a one once a day when meditation is uh, we did we do meditation we remember, but he is in our part of life, in our consciousness he is always there for us, in our happiness or joy, in our thinking, in our day to day life, in every activities. He comes priority. He is the first, first preference. 
he is always there but all the worldly activities worldly life should be a secondary thing spiritual practice and the guru's presence within us is primary and we should feel that all the time when we are feeling that all the time that guru will help us and guide us and protect us this is 50 almost this is this year is the 50 years of coming to west gurudev faced many challenges at the age of 67 he came to west and took lot of pain to adjust here to adapt the cultures to a, to and to adjust in this uh, environment staying in the disciples house there was no ashram at that time he was staying in disciples house whatever they are doing he is accepting he is helping them sometimes every place where he lives he used to protect them guide them and helping them in their lives and as well as the seekers who ever going to him he was mentioning sometimes things what happened how people were treating him even now i think of gurudev how much he faced and how much he received troubles because the gurudev is realized he was highly regarded in india many pe- people know how a realized master a guru he is treated he was highly respected he is like a god incarnation but we don't know that with our limited knowledge we were treating him doing many mistakes but he is not to receive anything from us only to fulfill his fulfill the noble wish of sri teshwar ji and baba ji maharaj he came to west and for thousands of people he was guiding and became a lighting star of guiding star for many people his the glory to express is very limited a finite and a limited mind we cannot he cannot express he is beyond expression gurudev is guiding us even today i feel that he is around us he is seeing everything he is listening everything he is protecting us i request all the disciples to keep him in his, in their minds all the time not just for a moment not just for some time every moment every day and night it is guru should become a part of life in our memory he should be there all the time in our consciousness it is our, we have to go beyond our mind and beyond our body sense worldly sense and think of gurudev and take him as an example how he worked how he served how he practiced in his young time engage he left everything he was realized he was he, he born in, in a rich family he has everything but he left everything for the world for the humanity he was teaching a kriya all the time for the people he dedicated his life 
to the disciples. Whatever we are now, whatever our life is now, it is all blessings of Him. Today, we humbly bow to Gurudev for His teachings, for His guidance, for the protection that we are getting. For a disciple, he becomes like a shield to protect from everything. Thank you all. I bow to you all. Bow to you, Mama. Thank you for that beautiful talk. So, Phil so Baba, we've we've come to conclude this little program. Thank so you Baba, all for your sharings. Bless you. So and let's, let's send it. Mm -hmm. Let's send with the mantra. Om Purna Paramaha Purna. Om Purna Madha Purna Mida. Purna 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 Dakshate. Purna Sya Purna Madaya. Purna Meva Vasishate. Oh, Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Sahajananda is there. So, sorry, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm the technical help for Gurgaon. <laughs> but we needed you at that moment, Baba. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll see you soon, Baba. Yes, yes, yes. I'll be happy to see you here. Thank you. Okay. I'm happy to see everybody now. I could just sit here looking at all your faces, all my friends. Oh, wait a minute. Let's, let, let, us, let us show you. Uh, we could not organize. We wanted to show the videos to everybody, but I will turn around the computer and show everyone here in the in the ashram. Uh huh. Yeah. So here are people. So uh -huh. you see him. He, he John Thomas Wall from Brazil. Brazil. I, mean, I mean, he's from America. America. Yes. So he's so in Brazil, Brazil right now, and uh, we have an ashram in Sao Paulo. Um, Baba is primarily the Acharya there. So, um, John Thomas Baba has been uh, disciple of Sri Gurudev from his New York days, 1980s. So, we 70s. had a little, <laughs> 70, 70, sorry, 70s. <laughs> and we had a little uh, Acharya uh, congregation where they, uh, in the Zoom, they spoke about Sri Gurudev. We joined a little late because our program was not allowing us to join early. So, Baba, thank you very much. Please bless everyone here. And, Jai Guru uh, Baba. Present everybody, Baba. Thank you, thank you. And they heard you. They heard you actually when you were talking. We came in, so they heard oh. all of us. Okay. Only Shinidhi Baba had to leave. Sunidhi had to leave. Yes, correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. David Baba is here. Lucy Ma is here. You probably know them. You see them more more often than you see us because we're far away. We're going to grab Sahajananda. He's going to come to Brazil. He doesn't know yet, but we're not going to let him leave. Okay. <laughs> Jai Guru, Baba, everyone. Baba, our pranams to pranams to you and all the acharyas and all the devotees in the in the in the forum, and we are grateful that uh, we could join and we could listen to all of you. Thank you, Baba. Jai Guru. Jai Guru. Jai Guru. Until we meet again. <laughs> Bye to all. Jai Guru. <laughs>